Hi everyone, Anshita this side. Welcome back to EV Automation Hub. In today's video, we will see how we can take screenshots in K6. So it can be helpful when we are doing browser testing or you're running your browser test on CI/CD pipeline. So you can actually capture the screenshot and can verify if there is any broken image on the page or if there is any rendering issue on the page or not. So how we can achieve that? So we can do this by using page method, which is page dot screenshot. So let's go to our editor. This is a sample test case it's for filling the registration form. I want to take the screenshot for that. Like I mentioned, you need to use page dot screenshot. And inside that you need to pass options object. So we will pass over here path. So path means where your screenshot would be stored. So over here, we can see there is no specific folder inside my K6 example. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pass screenshots. So if there is no folder, it will automatically create a new folder with this name. And then I'm going to pass the name of the screenshot, which I want to save it as. For example, I want to save it as test1.png. So what this command will do. So first it will create a screenshot folder. And then inside that it will save the screenshot. Now let's go to terminal and let's run it. So I will use the command k6 run register form.js because this is running in headless. We don't see any browser getting launched over here. But with this method, we can actually take the screenshot of the page. Now, as our test case is executed, let's go to project. We can see a new folder got added, which is screenshots. And inside this, you can see test1.png, you see. So this is a screenshot of that part. But what if you want to take screenshot of whole page? So you can do that as well. So in order to capture the whole page, what you have to do, just go to your test case. And over here, you need to pass full page as true. So by default, it is false. But by passing it as true, it will capture the screenshot of whole page. Fine. Now let's rerun the test case. And now my test case is executed. If I check over here, you see, now I can see the whole page got captured. But initially, it was just a small portion of the page. So this is how you can take screenshot in K6. If you want to capture the whole page or if you just want to capture the part, you can easily do this in K6. Also, it will be helpful. You have passed different viewport and you want to validate actually it opened in that viewport or not. We can do that also. For that, what I will do, I have one test case, which is for the viewport. So this is my sample test case with the viewport size, which is a viewport size of an iPhone X. So what I will do, I will pass over here page dot screenshot and inside this, I will capture the whole page and this time I will save it as a different file. So screenshots and let me name it as test2.png. Now let's go to our terminal and let's run the specific test case. So k6 run browser test.js. So why we are doing this? Because this time we have passed a different viewport size, different width and height. So we will see with a screenshot, it actually opened in the different viewport size or not. So now my test case is executed. Let's go over here and let's open the test2.png, you see. So this is a different viewport size, but if we see test1.png, it is a different viewport size. So this is a short video just to show you how to take a screenshot in K6. And I also want to mention about GitHub repo where I'm adding all these test cases. So this is the repo name K6 examples. So inside it, you will see all the test files and also you will see a detailed readme, how to clone this, how to install it on your machine and how to run the test script. And I've also attached the mind map screenshot over here. Like till now, whatever we have covered, I have attached it over here. So yeah, that's it for the video. So I hope you like the content. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.